Okay, so I pretty much just woke up. Here's my morning cup of coffee. Um, and last night I was very frustrated because I was filled with an urge all of a sudden. I'd gone on Twitter, widely considered to be a mistake. And over the past week and a half or whatever, I've really begun, like, hating Twitter. Uh, like, I just go on there, and even if I do everything I can to mitigate all the shitness on Twitter, like, blocking, like, I have a, a, a an add-on that means I can only see the people I follow page rather than the algorithmic page. I have also blocks, like, anything that isn't just the feed it's called like minimal twitter or, or something um and i've tried to like unfollow everyone who isn't like i look tw twitter is it's still bullshit you you can mitigate the suck but you can't actually make it not suck it's just gonna suck and i've it's it seems to it's obviously gone a lot worse over the past year or so, but the past few weeks, it's just been, like, unbearably bad, and I think I want to get off the website. However, I still want a way to get my thoughts out into the internet in simple text form, which is what my website is supposed to be for. My blog, specifically, is supposed to be for this. The problem is that all of my blog posts are written in hand handwritten HTML, and the RSS feed is also handwritten. Which means the only things I write are long ass essays about politics because those are the only things that I can be bothered to. I'm, you know what I mean, right? It's since it's a lot of effort to write a new blog post, I'm only going to do it if I feel like there's something high effort that I want to say, which, on the one hand, might be good because it means the post quality generally remains high. But on the other hand, it means that it doesn't really function well as something like a Twitter replacement, where I want to quickly get a random thought out onto the internet um, and not have to think about it too much. Uh, also, having a handwritten RSS feed is fine for most times, but it is something that you can fuck up and that can be annoying. Uh, So the plan is, I also recently redid the CSS for my website, um, but ultimately I'm just not happy with it because it is a pain to make a new blog post. Therefore, I intend to redo my entire website using a static site generator where it will automatically create an RSS feed for me and I don't have to write HTML and RSS by hand. So I went looking for a good RSS, uh, uh, sorry, a, a good static site generator that is very, very minimalistic and simplistic because I don't need anything complicated. I want my, my site to be as minimalist and brutalist as possible um, because that's the aesthetic I like on the internet and I, I have other reasons too. Uh, and I found this. It's called BAF. Uh, it stands for Blogs Are Really Fun. And it's a bash script or shell script that is 170 lines long. And it seems to be exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, the guy who made Buff also wrote another one that is very similar called W Ruby, Ruby, which is written in Ruby instead of shell. Um, I'm just going to use Buff because I'm more familiar with shell. Uh, I've never used Ruby before. Well, I mean, I've written like five lines of Ruby in my life. Uh, so, not that I would probably ever need to edit the source, but I'm much more comfortable in Shell than I am in Ruby, so I decided to use this one. Um, and what it does is, uh, here look, this is a live demo. This is what the sort of website that Bath generates, which is exactly what I want. It couldn't be better for my use case. Um, this is like exactly the sort of website that I like. Um, it makes an RSS feed. And it makes blog posts and pages, and you just you write it in Markdown instead of HTML, which is all great. It's basically exactly what I want. Uh, so I think Bath is going to be, it's a bit of a silly name. Uh, and I'm probably going to be saying it a lot in this video, so you should get used to that. 
So I think this is the solution I'm going to go for. It seems to be the best option for me. Um, so what do we do? How do we get this working? Well, uh, step one is going to be to back up my entire website. Step two, this is my, this is my plan. Step one, back up my website, download everything using curl or whatever. Step two is going to be, uh, download the, this, install the, the, CLI for NeoCities because my website is hosted on NeoCities uh, and I don't want to pay for a domain and I've also already uh, lots of people already know that my NeoCities exists so you know I'm in too deep at this point uh, and then step three is port port everything over to uh, to Bath so let's begin by backing up my website so step one, I'm just going to make a deer that's going to be called website backup in my home directory. I'm going to run this command, which is wget-mpek and then the URL. Uh, this is going to, I don't know how wget works. I just looked this up on Stack Exchange. As I understand it, uh, this is basically like the standard one is just wget r recursive, but that will also download any sites that are linked. So, you know, how my website links to my Twitter and stuff, it will download Twitter. <laughs> uh, this, I believe, should avoid that problem according to a random person on Stack Exchange. So, I'm going to do that. But I've just realized I forgot to cd into my uh, new directory. So, let's uh, cd in. What the fuck did I just do? Uh, let's cd into uh, website. Did I put a space there? What am I doing, bro? I put a space instead of an underscore. I'm stupid. So I'm trying to do it with one hand while I'm recording. Let's stop recording. I'll just show you the result. Okay, that is all done. If I go, you say I have a folder that is called the URL of my website. And damn, that glare is a bit much. Uh, and here's everything that I've ever written. Uh, perfect. Um, it's all, all the HTML files, and I have everything here. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly perfect. Uh, so next step is to install NeoCities CLI so I can push a whole directory at once much easier. Okay, this is the present state of my home page. Um, I think it's okay so far. Uh, I've got the index.html right now. I'm I, this requires this it requires new ideas, right? Like rather than having you know what I used to have like home blog posts all of different pages and a separate about page. I've often thought why don't I just make the about page the home page? So that's what I've done. Uh, just strip the site down a little bit. Don't really need a separate about page. I can just put put it on the home page, um, which I think this is pretty reasonable. Uh, and then I just have to fix this because this is currently not quite working. But once I get this article section working, um, I also have this this about page, but that doesn't work. I have to fix this bottom part <laughs> um the footer that's pretty easy to fix um yeah I, I just have to and then i have to do the long and boring work of porting all of my it should it says actually in the in the documentation it says it accepts arbitrary html so maybe Maybe I don't have to port anything. Maybe I can just copy paste all my blog posts from HTML directly. Um, we'll see. Okay, as you can see, if I click a link, it work. Brings you to the blog post, which has everything. I have an RSS feed, which is better now. 
Now I just have to port all of my blog posts. Also ignore this one. This is just an example one that comes with it. Now look, I am fucking bored uh, because what I have to do is very simple. I just have to copy paste. You know, I take a thing, I select all, I copy paste it, I put it there, I do a tiny, tiny bit of formatting, and then it's ready to, and then it's done, and then I do the next blog post. It's not very much effort, and I could put, I could definitely bang this out. I'm already more than halfway done, I think. But the problem is that, that while I'm doing this, I'm rereading my old blog posts, and oh god, they're so bad. Oh my god, they're so bad. They're so bad. Even the ones from recent are bad. I tend to get like ideas in my head and just run with them, even if I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And then, like, I'll write the blog. This is the problem with me, right? When I get an idea in my head, I'll write the blog post like day two when I'm in peak hype. I'm in peak hype for an idea. Like, let's take the recent thing, okay? So, recent blog post, I I was going through a marks phase, right? So, like, this one, this was like day two or three of my, I'm doing marks, I'm reading a lot of marks, right? Then, I had to go back with corrections because I was reading even, I was doing more. And it's like, even now, I go back and read those, because th this was still in the, like, beginning peak hype of when I was hyped about marks. And then I, you know, as it sort of slowed down, I, I, towards the end, it's like, well, now I've read more than I had when I wrote these things. Now I know that there's stuff in those blog posts that I, I don't necessarily agree with anymore. Um, but... I'm the hype has died down and I can't really be bothered to write a blog post about it <laughs> you know so that's pretty much how it ends up with like a lot of these um so I don't know I might just editorialize a bit and the, the I don't know it seems bad to delete them because posterity or whatever but I mean, there's some of these that are just so bad, man. Like, lukewarm anarchist patchwork, that's bad. That's a really bad one. Um, I don't know, a lot of these I've opposed. Single issue, I think, is the worst. On Sisyphus is really bad. It's really, really bad. But it's funny because it has a little edit at the bottom that says, lol, this is cringe, I was on drugs, don't blame me, which is true. Um, so that one's bad, but it's bad in a way that's funny. So I'm okay with it. Whereas, like, single issue is bad just because I was, like, going through a really weird fucking phase in my, I don't know, I was just, it was really, it was in my, like, brief one month long period of watching Destiny, and it's terrible. You just don't want to read a, you just never want to read a blog post by a Destiny viewer ever. It's not good. Um, so... Yeah, I'm definitely, I don't, I, I'm deleting that one. That one's not staying around. But then some of them are fine. Like, thoughts on Twitter and its alternative? Still fine. Am I still an anarchist? Like, I'm gonna, this one, I think the idea for the blog post is good. And there's some nuggets in there. But the conclusions are strange. The post is formatted and structured terribly. Because I wrote that post literally. I was like, I need to figure out if I'm still an anarchist. And I'm just gonna, in real time as I'm writing, figure this out, and it turned out terribly, because that, that doesn't, that's not good to read, it's completely rambly and unstructured, and it's really hard, like, I literally stop in the middle of sentences multiple times, and just start talking about something completely different, and in the end, I don't even have a conclusion, so, like, I think I want to rewrite that, <laughs> like, I don't think it's a bad idea for a post, it's just, I, I kind of want to rewrite it, um, so I don't know, I think, you know, I think I'm just gonna, if it's my website, I can do whatever the fuck I want, I think I am going to, if you want any of the old ones, I'll keep a backup, so you can email me or whatever the fuck, and I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you, um, but, yeah, I am, I think, just gonna delete some of the bad ones, I'm sorry guys, but I don't want to keep them up. Like, here's one. This this one, what is the purpose of the police? I think this is a pretty good blog post. I think it's got a good idea. It's got a good central theme. I agree with what I said here on a 
broad scale. However, I made a fuck up by not knowing what the fuck I was doing because I'm trying here to apply the social systems theory of Nicholas Luhmann without having known anything about the social systems theory of Nicholas Luhmann at the time, and so I make a mistake in how I'm applying that theoretical framework, and then I reference specifically that framework. So anyone who knows about Nicholas Luhmann, which is no one, and reads this blog post, will know that I'm fucking wrong about how I'm applying the framework. Um, Like me, I'm someone who knows a little bit more, still haven't read much of those books. I've really... I have a PDF, but I haven't read it yet, so that's zero. But I have lectures, guys. I've done lectures so far. But, like, I shouldn't have written this. I should, I mean, this was not a bad idea, right? I think that that this was not a bad idea, but I should have phrased it differently. I shouldn't have gone so hard on the um, Nikos Luhmann systems theory specifically. I could have just not lent on that, and the post would be it wouldn't be annoying to me because I'm using these words wrong. Uh, So, yeah, I'm not, I don't know, man. I think I shouldn't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I Maybe I should, maybe I should just edit this post or something. I don't know, man. I have no fucking idea. I don't know what to do in this situation. I shouldn't have written it like this in the first place. But, like, there's good stuff in here. And then there's, there's like, bad stuff in here. I, I don't know, man. What, like, what do I do? Do I just uh, leave it being, like, flawed? Do I go back and fix it? I kind of don't want to go back and fix it right now. Like, I think my point in this post is correct. I think my point is correct, but I think how I'm phrasing it is wrong. And I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna leave this one out, to be honest. I think Give Up On Life is the best blog post I've ever written. Um, It kind of, it's so good it obsoletes all my other blog posts. (laughs) I think I have some other good ones. I think Colonel Panic is pretty good. Um, that's pretty much... I think Colonel Panic is pretty good. I think Scattered Thoughts on Twitter and its alternatives are pretty decent. I think um, I'm quite bad at video games. It's okay. It's a little whiny. I think Dystopia is kind of funny, but only to me. I think Mosquitoes are Morally Wrong is also pretty good, but Give Up on Life is definitely my best one. I think Give Up on Life and Colonel Panic are the two best blog posts I've written, but Give Up on Life is better. I should probably adapt it into a YouTube video at some point, actually, because it's it's good enough to be a script. Maybe I should do that. Um. Yeah, but if you if you have to read one blog post of mine, you should read Give Up on Life. It's finally done. Oh my god, that was so painful. It was so. I should have just written a script that did that automatically. It would have been more fun. Uh, why did I do that by hand? It was not even that much effort. It just was boring as shit. Okay, let's see if that worked. Hey, look, we have posts. We have posts, and do they work? They work. Look, they have titles and stuff. And let's let's look at Give Up on Life. Does it have a picture? It has a picture. The picture doesn't work because the picture is hosted on my Neo series and not on my local computer, and that's okay. There's no problem with that. Um, and it all seems to work fine. And does this button work? Hell yeah, that button works. And does this button work? Hell yeah, that button works. Okay. Okay, looks like everything's going well. I think that's done now, isn't it? Is there anything else I need to add? I don't know if there's anything else I need to add. Oh, of course, I need to add the Slice of Life podcast. Um, right, I should add that in the pages directory, I suppose. Okay, that's all done. 
you press menu it takes you to the menu you can go home you can read my articles you can press cast it takes you to the podcast you can press menu it takes you to the menu where you can go home you can read this i'm thinking of going back to how it was before where there's a separate about page um where this will just be links and there'll be a separate about page i think that's the play so i think i'm gonna go change that um and then all i have to do is fix the fact that this has curly brackets around it which i can fix in 10 seconds and uh then i have to switch everything out and then i've done it and it's all done also embarrassingly i've just figured out you may have noticed that like my contact information wasn't showing up when i was on this page before i've been wondering why that was happening for ages and i just realized it's because i had my browser set to use the font that i use in my terminal which is called cosette as my default font for everything and that font doesn't support italics because it's just a monospace terminal font and so since these are in italics, it just wouldn't show it because it didn't have any font to do italics. So I fixed that. That was a stupid issue with my browser. I don't know why I had it set up like that. Um, right, so I think I've got to work. Okay, this is where it gets scary, but I just have to remember I do have this entire site backed up. So even if things go terribly wrong, let me just double check that my backup still there has a... Okay, my backup works, so I just double check it. We delete that folder with all of my blog posts. We delete about.html. I'm doing this on the web interface because there's no way to recursively delete an entire directory in the command line interface. So I didn't want to have to delete blog posts one by one. We delete that. We delete cast.html. We do not delete denperink.html. We delete feed.xml. This is going to break every single person. I don't know. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to... I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, and then we delete... I guess we have to just... I don't know what we do with that. I don't know how we fix this. Uh, but we don't need test.css. I haven't used that in a long time. Um, okay, and then I guess we... I mean, how easy is it to just do this? Okay, I guess we just go NeoCities, push, and then build. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now if I refresh this site, boom. So now if I go view and then I refresh, boom, my brand new website. It did actually replace my RSS feed, but I think, I think it's fine. I hope it's fine. I don't really know what to do there. If I wait, if I just rename it to feed.xml, does it does anything change? Because everyone's RSS feed reader is still pointing at my old thing, which I believe was called feed.xml. Hold on, it it should still be there. Yeah. So if I just delete this and rename this to feed.xml in the actual script instead of RSS, what happens? I guess we're about to find out. Okay, I'm just going to write an, a post on my old RSS feed that says this feed has been discontinued. Please head to my website and subscribe to the new feed. That's what I'm going to do. I could have done a find and replace inside the shell script for Bath to fix this, right? It wouldn't have been wouldn't have been that hard, right? Like you can just find everywhere where it says rss.xml, right? Which is quite a few different places, um, you know? Uh, and then switched it out to say feed.xml and then it would have been seamless. 
However, I'm worried that that would break things because now all of the old RSS, like all of the old posts would be formatted different. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> that seems you're not supposed to do that. Um, I'm worried that would break things. So I've just decided to put out a post that says like, hey, important, go resubscribe. So anyone who's subscribed to the RSS would see that. I have Atom now as well, if that interests you. Um, but yeah, website is done. New website is up. I gotta write a post about it now. Um, and that's it. That's how you make a website using Buff. It was, it's not very complicated. I, 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 I recommend it. Uh, only thing I don't like about this, which I can change. I, I did this because it's the default setup. Um, I don't like it as a default is that like you to navigate the navigations in the footer and then at the top there's just like a little thing that, that puts you down there right like if i if i it's more obvious on a longer post like you click on the menu and it takes you down to the bottom where the menu is like i would obviously prefer this to just be in a bar at the top um i don't really know why it's set up like this by default uh, I don't mind it. Like, I don't think it's bad. Uh, it's just a little unintuitive. I could fix it very easily, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. And if I want to fix it, I can. So I'm going to write a new blog post detailing the fact that I have revamped this website, which will automatically send out an RSS on the new RSS feed. And then I'm done, yippee, and then I'm going to upload this video. Well, I'll edit it first. And here it is, my website completed, we got links to all my stuff. You'll notice I deleted, um, like, Blue Sky off of there, because I don't really use Blue Sky. Um, but boom, 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 all of my stuff, buy my merch, contact, little, little blurb, all of my um, shit, you know. Uh, I even got the, I brought, I brought back the little CSS black when you hover over it. I like that. You got all of the Slice of Life podcast is here. Uh, and a little about page. And you got an Atom feed, RSS feed, link to Bath, the code for Bath, licensing information. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all you need for a website, right? Uh, yeah, website done. Hell yeah. Go resubscribe to my feeds because it's a different feed now. It will never change again, probably. <laughs>